swap city life for farming and her journey is documented in the new film, The Biggest Little Farm. Today she's in our kitchen with a farm to table meal full of the season's freshest ingredients. How good does that look, everybody? Yep. Please welcome Molly Chester. <laughs> welcome, Molly. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Debbie yeah. Ken Page, her Hi. farm to Thank table, you. and they were like, I am in on this. Of course. Sure. This Aww. is it's absolutely beautiful. spectacular. I know we haven't even really begun yet, and I'm already yeah. wowed by it. Okay. But what I love is the fact that you really did. You gave up big city mm. life. You went out and you bought a farm, and in many ways, it had to do with the promise that you made to your rescue dog, Todd. Tell me the story. Exactly. Yeah, we. We, when we decided to take Todd home, we committed to him that our home would be his last home. So it was a big commitment because to set the stage, my husband was a documentary filmmaker, I was a private chef, and we lived in this little apartment, mm -hmm. and Todd did not like to ever not be with us. Mm. So he would bark all day long. Oh boy. And we came to the point that we were facing eviction. Oh it my was gosh. Gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, so man. we couldn't live there any longer with Todd, at least. So um, then we, I, at the same time, as a private chef, I realized that the key to nutritious and flavorful food actually came down to the choices a farmer makes. And so the light bulb went off, and That's we said, great. this could be a solution to our. Dog Todd's problems, and so now, <laughs> yeah. as well as yours, exactly. I yeah. mean, these these pets of ours, they they I really know. do make the, yeah, they really make the decisions whether they realize it or not. Don't they? <laughs> they well, that's a beautiful family. decision you made for yes. many many reasons, not just for Todd, but also for living healthy. So let's get started. Okay. The salad, like I said, is going to be spectacular. We're going to start mm. with the salmon and the marinade for the salmon. We right? are. Yes. Okay. Take it away. What do we have? Okay. So we have um, whole grain mustard here. Okay. And we're going to add some lemon juice. Very good. And if you want to whisk yeah, for sure. us. Yeah, sure. There we go. Okay, we have a little bit of uh, lemon zest there. Yummy. Some black pepper. Okay. Fresh Get garlic, it. which is coming in right now at the farm. It's delicious. Oh, boy. That's going to be fresh A little sea fresh. salt. Okay. And then the key to this is that we're using ghee, which... Um, oh. I hear you like. Yeah, no, I, yes, exactly right. This is uh, definitely right up my alley. But tell everybody why you use ghee and some of the be benefits of ghee. Yeah, so I, I love ghee it too. is just butter that has been simmered and the milk fats fall to the bottom. Right. And then when you skim that off, you have the oil, which has a really high cooking temperature. So it enables us to cook the salmon at 500, and it also enables some people who can't do dairy very well mm. to be able to eat this. That's exactly why I yeah. eat it. It also has um, more sort of... Uh, anti-inflammatory effects on the butter. Sometimes butter can be a little inflammatory, but this ghee is great, a little easier on the digestion, fantastic. Exactly, okay. and I like to do it at room temperature like that because okay. it becomes a little bit more sturdy, so we can just spread it right on Very the salmon Very good, and I'll like let this. you do just that. Why don't we sure. move the salmon over here? Sure. And we can do it under here in case we wanna. Great. It's so good. See okay. that. I'll clean up a little bit as you're doing that. Now, how, how much you. marinade would you recommend putting on, like, as far as covering the salmon? What would you recommend? You want to just put it all on, and you want to coat it. So this is a wild salmon, which yep. is really important for the nutrition qualities of it. And we want to just spread it right on there really, really thick, and it's about a pound. And then at that Beautiful. point, we're just going to pop it right in the oven. Pop it in the oven. There you go. Let's oh, do so it. You don't, let it, you don't let it soak or anything. It's right on, right in. Yep, right, right on, right on. And for um, how long, at what temperature? So it's going to be say? 500 degrees, so really hot for 13 to 15 minutes. Okay, mm. that is pretty that is hot. so yeah. good. And we have, oh, that's hot. I'm glad I didn't touch it. This, <laughs> yeah. this is our finished salmon over here, and we're going to use that at the end of plate. Okay, great. Let's let that cool. And while we let that cool, we're going to work on our dressing for this salad. Great. Okay, so bring over the ingredients for that. This is what so do we have fresh here? tasting. I'm oh, good. Not just fresh ingredients but it really tastes like spring. Right. I love that. Yeah. It's right from the farm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fresh, look okay, at all these Okay, so we have apricot dressing. Okay. This is special to us because we are Apricot Lane Farms. That's the oh, name of our farm. Nice. But you can use any type of uh, fruit jam. It's totally okay. fine. Great. So um, then we're going to add... So we have a little bit of lemon juice. Should I do juice. the stirring again? Yeah, please I was do. Use Actually, the whisk. use the whisk. Well, that, I tried to clean sense. it, but is it okay if a little bit of the uh, Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That okay. shouldn't be, it's okay. not been on the fish. Is that dressing for the salad? Is that what you're doing? This, this is, is for the salad, I, yeah. I had no idea there was apricot in here. There, There is. You can't tell. Oh, good. Yummy. There's something in here that's like, sweet? what is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we oh, use 100% fruit, so it doesn't have extra added sugar. Mm. Just kind of oh, keeps that out. That's important. Yeah. Just the pectin. Exactly. Always recommended. Great. So we have some apple cider vinegar. Yummy. The unfiltered kind. I mean, it's as if you went into my pantry and got all right. the foods in there. Yay! I am so, so impressed. Dijon some... mustard. Good. A little bit of black pepper again, a okay. little bit of sea salt. Really good. Mm -hmm. And then, oop, 
Get there we go. There. Good, 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 good. Okay, and then this is a special ingredient. This okay. is avocado oil. <gasps> and you can use olive oil if you don't <laughs> have that. So you are. I know. Do so you use avocado oil? It's my favorite. <laughs> well, it's my we, favorite. That and olive oil. We yeah. actually press this on the farm. Oh, my goodness. Yes, but you don't have to do that. You can get olive oil if you can't find it. That's a good thing so. because I think that would limit the number of people <laughs> using avocado oil. Yes. That's now, great. What is yes, the you can address get that. We're going to drizzle. Farm right. We could come on by apricotlanefarms.com. That's it. That's all you got to do. Yummy. Okay. So you pour this in, drizzle it in, and give it some whisk. Okay, very good. And once so, that emulsifies. You got it. I just want to point out the fact that we're talking about all these great ingredients and different swap outs that you can use. And of course, they're super tasty. That's a good reason. Yeah. But so many extra added health benefits, too. I got right. to point out. Totally. Obviously, just being farm to table on its own is great. But then using the ones that you're using the apple cider vinegar, the avocado oil, the ghee, all these things are so much easier on the body and digestion and longevity. Thank you for oh, recognizing. You got that. it. You got it. Okay, okay. so now we're going to build our salad. Done here. Aren't we? we sure are. Okay, here we go. So we've got this beautiful lettuce. What we kind of do. lettuce is that? So this is a butter lettuce Yummy. that we grow at the farm. I love butter lettuce. It's so beautiful and mm, delicate. You if you want to put some down there. Okay, good. So we're just going to lay these yeah, down a little bit. Yeah, just a few in there. And, and then we, we start building with some other Exactly. Uh, I've eaten the whole thing. So these are beautiful eggs from the farm. You can see how bright orange the yolks are. So you know those uh, chickens have been out grazing on grass, which makes the eggs super nutritious. And we just kind of lay them out? Yeah, lay them out. Okay. And this is a this is one of our egg boxes from the farm. You can see it looks like the palette of a, like a, like a, Chef's artist palette. It, it looks <laughs> like, a, like yeah, it looks like an art exhibit or something. Well, That's what it looks nature like. Nature is art. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. It truly is. Right. I agree. Okay, okay so, so we got water. eggs. So while we can you guys pile. build with Ooh, the potatoes yeah. and the eggs and stuff, I would love to show everyone at home a little teaser of the Biggest Little Farm documentary that you, you and your husband. I did. would love that. <laughs> Thank you. That's all my husband. I take no Did credit for that. How wonderful is that? Yeah, he's good at what he does. And so are you. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. And so Look at this. this. Wow. Look at this. You need a bite of this. I do need this a bite of this. This tastes like the farm. Go. I'm going to give you it's this. Thank you. Pork. I'm going to go, oh, we got to put a little dressing on there, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah. Just sort of drizzle yeah, it Yeah, you can drizzle it on. At home, I like to kind of serve it in a little pitcher on the side. You can put on what you want. Is that too much? No, that'll be great. Okay, great. Maybe. And that dressing, you can put on anything. Oh, it's really good. delicious. Yeah, that's true.